Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft tutorials. My name is Joe Buffalo and I help gamers who play Minecraft Bedrock overcome challenges in the game by teaching you how to play the game in a simplified way. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a mud farm and all the mechanics behind the redstone. Let's get into the build. First, you want to clear yourself an area that is eight blocks long and five wide, adding four blocks here and three blocks here. You'll start in the spot in front of the block that is dug out one deep and put down two temporary blocks. Add a dispenser, remove these, and then right next to that, place down four droppers looking at you. So one, two, three, and four. On top of the dispenser, add a hopper so the hopper is going into the dispenser. And then come around to the side, place down another dispenser on top of the dropper. Now you have every one of these droppers going into this dispenser. Now go ahead and place a temporary block on top of your hopper. Now take trapdoors and surround the temporary block with trapdoors. Now go ahead and remove the temporary block. Place down a bucket of water. The water needs to hit the dispenser. Now we're going to go into the dispenser and fill it up with glass bottles. It needs to be 100% full. Now the dropper next to the dispenser, go ahead and place down a temporary block. And then add four more temporary blocks to that one. Then we're going to remove this temporary block and place in a piston so that it's facing this way. We can remove our temporary blocks. Now we're going to add some redstone to power all this up. First, we're going to put down a redstone torch here, and then redstone dust here, glass on top of the redstone dust, redstone dust, and one more piece of glass, and then finish it off with redstone dust. Now we're going to come to the other side and place a block here, and add one piece of redstone on that block. Now we've just powered the four droppers, the dispenser, and the piston. As soon as you put a dirt block in front of the piston, the piston will fire and push it forward. The reason that happens is because when this redstone torch powers this block, it also powers all this redstone, which powers each one of these droppers, which powers your dispenser, and with this piece of redstone here, it powers this piston. And you can hear everything go off. You can hear the tick fire. What's happening is these empty water bottles are getting pushed into the water, filling up, and the hopper is collecting them into the dispenser. Now we need to do is power the dispenser so when the dirt block comes in front of the dispenser, it will shoot the water onto the dirt block, creating a mud block. So in order to power this dispenser, we're going to place down a repeater here, a redstone block behind the repeater. What that does is that turns on this repeater constantly. So now when a block comes in front of this, it will automatically power the block, which will then power this dispenser. So when I place my dirt block here, the piston fires, pushing the dirt block in front of this power, powering this block, powering this dispenser, and turning it into mud. Now the problem we have is that we have an empty bottle in here now and we have to drain these empty bottles so that this just has full water bottles inside of it and the way to do that is put an item sorter that sorts only the empty bottles and have them flow back into the dropper so the dropper can feed all the empty bottles back up to the dispenser on top and the way to do that is to stick down a repeater and then on top of that repeater you're going to want to place a piece of glass and then from there go ahead and place a redstone torch coming off that block and then we're going to add two blocks Next, go ahead and place a comparator here, and then we'll finish it off with redstone. Now place a hopper going into the comparator. Now the reason the comparator turned on is as soon as I put that hopper in, this dispenser began to drain everything into the hopper. The hopper is currently holding the two full water bottles and the one empty water bottle. Now we want to take out the empty bottle from this hopper and put it into this dropper so that the droppers can feed it to the top. So to do that, place a hopper going in here. And then go into this top hopper. We're going to add four items of our choice. And then 41 of the empty glass bottles. Now what that's going to do is every time an empty bottle comes inside of this dispenser, it will turn on this locked hopper, which will allow the empty bottle to go back inside the droppers, keeping the full bottles of water inside your dispenser. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope everybody had a great day. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.